Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival Anniversary 8.5, build 1849. Get ready to start all over again. We don't necessarily have to, but I feel like when we get a big update, it's time to do that. It's the 27th of August, 2018. They released their um, anniversary edition of Imperion Galactic Survival. So, we talked about last uh, episode that we were going to go ahead and hold on to the seed 3333. Uh, we're going to start on the Muftandu again. Uh, uh, some of the things that's came with the anniversary update is there are now two more chapters of the Robinson Protocol available on the Temperate Planet. So, I was kind of tossing back and forth whether or not we wanted to start on Temperate Planet, do Robinson Protocol, and then continue on with the storyline. Um... We've kind of been talking about the fact that we were going to use Muftanda, Muftandu, and we did have a course of action that we were going to take. <clears throat> so here we are. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Medium, normal, normal, normal. We want this up on rich. This on plenty. We want overall drone presence on high and on hard over here. And then everything else stays the same. Stays the same. Yeah, that's right. We're good to go there. Okay. Move Tandu. We're ready to go. Happy anniversary, Elion. Thank you for giving us such a great game to play. Let's go have some fun. Now, it looks like uh, Alpha 9 is going to be the next one they're going to release. And that's down the road because they're working on it right now. So Alpha 9 could be, who knows? Maybe we've got six months to play where we can actually get in here and really get going on it. Um... Season 6, I think we've got farther than I've ever gotten before on Imperion. So this season, I'm hoping to do even more. And our goal is to get into space, get sort of a space station CV thing going, and then explore the outer reaches of our solar system. That's the goal. I have about three and a half to four hours to play today. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see where we're coming down at. Ooh, there's a little pool of water right there. I don't, I'm not seeing anything out here. Oh boy. There was a little farm. Is that gone now? <laughs> that whole thing is gone now, huh? Looks to me like it is. Did I just miss it and not see it on the way down? Robinson Protocol, there'll be a different storyline for this starter planet uh, down the road. Okay, so already we're off to a different start. So this would... Th I'm glad we're starting over because, yeah, it's its definitely changed. There's our water. Uh, oh. Okay, so the beginning of Robinson Protocol is on here, but the new two chapters must not be on here. Do we want to do Robinson Protocol? Here's the thing about Robinson Protocol. It's going to take us to a lot of different things really quick, and it's going to advance us fast. If we don't do that, it's kind of up to us to find our way around. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Yes. We're going to skip it. And we've got a few things in our inventory right off the bat. We've got our uh, projectile pistol. We've got this guy right here. Uh, O2, me O2 machine right here. Very nice. And, oh, we also have our survival tool as well. I'm a little surprised we got the survival tool. We didn't get that last time. But then this is going to be a little different, isn't it? Let's move everything down. Uh, we've got the ore scanner as well. 100 rounds, the flashlight, which I don't know that I've ever used the flashlight, a bandage, a bit of food, a cola, 5 oxygen, 12 biofuel, and a tent. Okay. We discovered, I don't think anything on the way down. Not a darn thing. We are going to uh, see what happens. <laughs> Let's roll. Start getting some resources. What do we got? 91 degrees. And off we go. Yeah, no starter building this time. None. Now, I'm assuming that it probably dropped us off in the same kind of an area that we were last time. When we started this seed. We've got plenty of this right here. I see some ores over there. Some bugs, orange trees. Let's get up on top of this hill here. Let's see if we can get an, enough initial resources put together that we can build a bike and zip off. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, we're going to grab some of this food because we've only got the one bit of food. Last time we started out, we had um, two uh, 
uh, ration packs that we could keep. We're going to want to get a few trees as well. And I'm going to try to limit my jumping around and stuff. We've got the jet pack, so we'll do that, but I'm not going to run. Level 2 reach. There we go. Uh, here's a little bit of copper. Sometimes the noise of the drill and the saw will bother the bugs, and they will come after you. So we want to watch out for that. Not to uh, get them upset. Last thing we need to do is take any damage right away. Let's get a little bit of wood for biofuel. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing I'm doing great. I'm, I'm just fantastic. Oh, no, come here. I'm doing fantastic. I'm really looking forward to starting out. I'm kind of glad I, I decided against the Robinson Protocol because this is going to be fun. I think what I'm going to do is continue to move westerly. We do have that uh, ore scanner. What's this thing called again? Yeah, the ore scanner. I misspoke uh, in the last episode, or the episode before that, that that is not something that you can use to... Um, it doesn't help you see further out for ores. That only helps you find the Prometheum that's been taxed underground, because those are kind of those pop rock things. There we go. We got that going for us. Here's a little more copper over here. Yeah, we're going to keep heading kind of in a westerly direction. Stopping along the way to pick up a few extra goodies. And matter of fact, uh, since we've got some stuff going on here, let's go in here. Use items from the inventory, but not from the toolbar. Okay. Uh, let's shift click that into 10, and let's get those going right there. We're going to have to get that oxygen generator down too, pretty quick. But we've got time. A little bit of time. Small wreckage. There we go. <clears throat> a little bit of sanctuary, excuse me. Thank you so much for all your support on the series and the game and understanding that I'm not a pro at this and that I'm learning just like some of you are learning. So if you're new to the channel, as I always say, do check out the comments because mistakes I make in the game, I will leave them in here and uh, so that you guys can see what they are. And then you can see the comments and you can see what people have to say and say, well, Radio, you did this. You should have done that instead. So that is really the goal of the channel is to... Uh, help everybody out, including me. So I don't cut that stuff out. I will leave the mistakes here. I love how those logs pop up like that. Let's get ourselves over to that small wreckage. That's that's a nice little find to have right off the bat here. We got some copper. Uh, we got copper and we have iron, but we do not have silicon. So maybe we can find a nice big rock that we can make, knock down. And maybe we can turn the stone, the crushed stone, into some silicon. Maybe that'd be the choice. I wasn't sure what I was going to walk into when we started playing today, but here we are. Uh, map, am I still going in the right direction? I am going the right direction. That's going to be west of us. That's fantastic. Love that. Let's grab these oranges. And the tree. We're really grabbing the fruit right now just as XP. That's it. I'm not going to be able to do much with the fruit. I don't think I can use the fruit to make the rations. Uh, we've even got some fiber going on right here. Oxygen's down to 243, so we're going to have to use a bottle of it pretty soon. We're close to the wreckage, though. We're doing just fine. We'll see, though. We'll see after about an hour goes by if I've got enough O2 to, to kind of keep me going here. There's lots of food out here, and I'm seeing more nodes as well of copper and everything else. The one thing I've not seen is silicon. Uh, I would say we've got something right over there. Right over there as well. So we'll see what this uh, wreckage has for us. And we'll check on the other wreckage as well. I believe that's the wreckage over there. We may spend a day or so here just kind of getting set up. All oh, this is great XP. Here we go. Yeah, I think our goal is to get a bike here as quick as we can. Oh, there's some silicon right over there, right next to these worms. Now, will these, these guys bother me if I go up? The thing is, is they're going to bug me because I'm going to make noise with this drill. That's silicon. I really want that silicon. Okay, let's... <laughs> I think it's just going to... They're just going to sit there. Let's see if we can find anything over the wreckage here. We'll 
Remember, we've got some silica next to some bugs. I mean, I probably could take them out. I've got how many rounds? A hundred rounds. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. One down, one to go. I'm pretty sure that if I go over there and use the drill, I guess I could try it and see if this guy gets upset with me. I just killed his friend. I don't know that he really knew what was going on there, but uh, we reloaded. I think we can probably get away from him. Let's let's give this a try. Oh, I don't think I had to kill his friend. I don't think I had to do that. Let's get a little bit of rock. Yeah, there's definitely a structure out there in the desert. We're at 129 degrees, though. That's 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 pretty darn hot. I've been in 129 degrees, and it's not a pleasant thing to be out here like this. Do we see water anywhere here? We saw that little tiny pool of water, but that was about it. Let's get some O2 in our system. Let's grab that for XP that for XP. Small wreckage. Let's grab a little more stone too. What we could do is we can actually take this and turn it into silicon. Can we do that in our constructor? I'm not, I'm not sure. I've never actually done that where I turn it into uh, the other material, the silicon. find out here shortly since we have it in our inventory. Yeah, there's there's just look at all the iron over here. It's just amazing how much we have. Okay, let's set up some shop right here real quick. Let's see. Uh yes, you can. Okay, so let's do that, 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 that. Let's cook the food first. Let's do that first. Let's go back over here. See how many of those I can make. I can make the bike kit, it looks like. Can I make the bike? It's right here. We're going to try that out and see if that's going to work for us. Okay, I've got a stake. That's good. Uh, let's go inventory. Let's go tab. And let's go into our suit constructor and tell it to make a few more of these guys right here. Is it actually working or is it uh, has it stopped working? It's working. Okay, so we've got these. <clears throat> we'll throw that in there. Actually, we'll keep that right there, and what we'll do is we'll tell it to make a little bit of biofuel. Okay, so we've got the bike coming in. That's fantastic. Let's see what's at this wreckage here and see if we got anything of interest here. A crate or storage compartment. Oh, there we go. Aha. So we got here an antibiotic pill, some more ointment, and three purified waters. Fantastic. What we're going to do with the water... You guys taught me this last season. It's so fantastic. I'm going to do that right there. I'm getting really hot. You are feeling hot. Let's get this bike made and let's get the heck out of here. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to... Uh, well, you know what I can do? I can actually... I think the water should cool me down a little bit. I think water does that. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we'll get this bike and we'll get the heck out of here. We'll worry about the biofuel later. I need to get this guy set down and get some oxygen. We need to find water and get next to it and then set that oxygen generator up and get that working. There is no uh, no uh, promethium packs. No promethium packs this time around. We do have 10 of these biofuels, though, so that's good. Once we get this bike, we can head out the door here and get going. We'll continue going west. If the world is the same world that we had before, it might be worth going down to the other spot that we just saw. Let's cancel that. <clears throat> 138 degrees. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a steamy day. I'm in the shade. Does this count? Does it count that I'm in the shade? No, not, 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 not even close. Come on, biofuel. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's get this out of here. We're almost there. Almost there. 
How much food does this give us? 104. Okay, we'll hold off. We'll eat the steak first. I think these guys last longer. 116 perish time as opposed to 15. Yeah, we'll eat that steak first here. Come on, biofuel. Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. And shift F and motorbike. And let's get our motor running. Let's go check out this other crash site over here. Deposit. It's nice. This is a little cooler here too. There's a copper deposit. Uh, anything else? Anything of value in here? Well, it looks like we probably have some containers right over in here. Possibly. Oh, we do. There we go. All right. Water and some food. Spoiled food. I don't see anything else up here, but these will be good parts for us for sure. Okay, so we found iron and we found some copper. We've not found silicon yet. Uh, let's go tab. Oh, no, let's go to our map. Sorry, let's go to the map. Let's do a waypoint here. And a waypoint here. Let's go hit up a few of these guys real quick and see if we can find anything. Uh, oxygen's doing okay. We've got, what, four bottles left in our inventory? There's another piece of wreckage right over here. <clears throat> this is good. Wreckage is our lifesavers right now. This is um, a different start for me. It really is. It seems like it's a little more challenging. There's a silicon deposit. So we've got all three right in this general area. Oh, there's a body of water right there too. Oh, now this is the this is the um, this is the Robinson Protocol. This is the Robinson Protocol ship right here. Oh, very nice, very nice. Ah ha ha! Look at this. Oh, lifesaver. Extra backup bike, vegetables, some plants, an extra constructor. Sweet mama. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Do we have any more crates up here? 104 degrees. The temperature is actually pretty good here. Where are we on the map? How close? We're kind of well. We're above the equator. We might uh, we might not go far from here to get set up with water. What we don't have yet is promethium. No, I'm going to resist going over there. I'll tell you why. Because then what's going to happen is I'm going to wind up getting way out there and I'm going to be struggling for oxygen and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is we've got three nice deposits of ores right here, right? Are they all pretty good size? Uh, we've got a small copper, a medium iron, and a medium silicon. We don't need to go and, and do that. What we're going to do is we're going to set up right here for a little bit. We're going to take this stuff and throw it back in here. Oh, we're going to eat that right now. Throw that in there. We've got these lockers. We might as well use them. Uh, I'm going to take that back. And let's throw these in there. We've got another five bottles. We have nine bottles of O2. We're doing really great there. We're going to leave the bike in here as well. And that extra constructor. Okay. We're going to take this guy right here and set him down right here in the shade. How's that look? That looks pretty good. And we're going to set this guy down right here. And we're going to get him going right now. Right now, O2 coming in. It's, it's got 10% quality on it. Uh, that is way too much. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait a minute. That's four in there and seven on me. Okay, beautiful. And then that is on and going. Beautiful. And over here, we're going to take and we're going to drop all this stuff off in here. And we're going to set this up to make 20 biofuel. Fantastic. Then I'm going to take my bike. And I'm going to ride over here. And I'm going to get started on digging up some iron. Then I'm going to dig up some silicon. And then I'm going to dig up some copper. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. We're going to have the materials we need. We're going to check out that body of water as well. Because, yeah, we definitely want some water. That's going to be fantastic. Oh, where's our where's our thing here? 26, 5, 4, 3, 2, 18, 17... Right about here. So here we go. F5. Up in the air we go. 
double tab. Here we go. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna get the resources we need, and we're gonna get ourselves set up really nice here. I'm trying to try to find a nice, efficient start to uh, uh, Imperion. I usually flumber, fl uh, flumber. <laughs> I usually, you know, uh, just you know, don't have it quite together. So I'm really working hard to get this down pat, so the start is nice and smooth and efficient. So I'll be back in just a second. Welcome back. Uh, obviously, it's nighttime. I finished up the copper, the iron, and the silicon. Got the whole copper node. I left some of the iron and some of the silicon behind. I just saw a meteor shower coming down. It's like the second time I've seen it happen. It was falling like on the other side of this lake here. And I'm just kind of curious as to what it might... If it's something I want to... If I'm going to find anything. I see iron deposits. 143 degrees. Holy moly. Talk about hot. I see a drone over there on the right. I'm just kind of curious if there's a meteor over here. I've never seen one before. Have you guys seen the meteors that come down? So the copper deposit, medium. That's good. I'm glad there's another copper deposit. And I'm not seeing where anything fell over here. This is kind of the area that I saw. I mean, it could be further away too, but I'm pretty sure this is where I saw it coming down at. But I don't see anything here. Let's drive around the other side of the lake. I know it's dark out, guys. I'm sorry. Just it just that meteor shower happened. Well, that's a long, that's a pretty long ways around. We'll do that in a second here. We'll do that a little bit later. Let's get back to the base and get uh, some more O2 going and things like that. I've got the O2 going still. I've got some more biofuel going as well. What is he? Oh, he's protecting that iron deposit. I'm pretty sure of that. We got some water right here. That's not bad at all. HV is what we want to get going, for sure. Uh, I know we've got the new HV uh, thrusters that we could use, the HV hover engines, but uh, I just feel like I can get to the hover, you know, I'm going to be getting to the hover engines anyways pretty quick, so it's no big deal. Uh, I think we're up over here. I think this is our wreckage over here. Got a couple of those big guys roaming around down here. Now, you guys tell me the golems are gone. Yeah, the, the, the stone golems are gone. The desert golems. <clears throat> That's too bad. I really loved those guys. They were awesome. But such is change, right? Change. Okay, so what I want to do here... Ooh, we got one of those big guys right here, too. We'll grab this back up. Let's go over here. Let's go to... Let's go learn. Uh, tools... We're going to learn that, um, and then we also need to... Weapons. Shotgun. Assault rifle. And I think that's all I want to learn right now. Miscellaneous. Uh, no, I want to hit the portable heater cooler as well. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's go to weapons. I want... Let's cancel that. Let's, I want this, this, this is a Tector. This is the guy we need right here. He's going to expand our visual experience as we drive around and show us where more things are, or at least kind of direct us in the right direction. So that's what I misspoke about. This guy is for finding the nodes underground, the Prometheum and Pentaxid. This guy helps you find those so you don't you know, have to drill around too much looking for that stuff. This guy helps you spot things further away from you. So we're all going to get that made as well. And then let's get... Uh, Let's get three of those guys going as well. Okay, we've got that going in there. Um, and then in here, how are we doing in here? We've got three more oxygen bottles, which is fantastic. I've got more water for backup of that. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set our tent down. We're going to sleep the night away, and this stuff should be pretty much done. By the time we wake up. Boom. Oh, look at that. Seven more bottles of that stuff right there. This is all done. Fantastic. Yeah, just having this guy in our inventory is going to be a huge help. Let's get our shoddy down here. And we've got our multi-tool. Uh, why do I only have 30 shotgun shells? I could have sworn. Did, did we change the shotgun shell? Um, oh, copper ingots. My fault. 
Let's do a couple more of those. And we've got a little bit of stone on us. Not a whole lot. Uh, we have some emergency O2. Uh, we have a full 20 of those guys now. So we're looking good there. Yeah. And food. I think if we eat and get our food all the way up. I'm going to be wasting a little bit there, but it's going to give me the 500 and the full food buffer, too. So that's always a nice thing to have. All right, shift F on the 10th. Let's get him put back into here. Uh, there's another 60 rounds. We've got 90 rounds. Let's do one more. I prefer the shotgun over the pistol. We picked up a little more biofuel. I could use more of it, but I think we're okay to get started here. I, I, I do. I think we're okay. I want to head west, young man. I want to head west. Uh, it's going to do one in just a second here. Give us that water. There we go. It still has some juice in it, but we're going to go ahead and pick it up anyways. Uh, we had some stuff up in here, too. And we can come back, and I can harvest a lot of the stuff out of this ship. Uh, back at motorcycle. Got some food spoiling in here. Not, not a big deal. Uh, we have a slot left in our inventory. We saw what's on that side of the water. Let's go on this side and see. There we go. Now we got this detector. Okay, he's pointing us over in this general direction here. Let's go follow this over here a little bit. Let's drive around and see what it has in store, because this does look different than the last time we were here. Wouldn't you agree? It's a little bit different. Copper deposit. Okay, so we found the copper deposit over here. Fantastic. Oh my god, that's fantastic. We just need to find the Prometheum deposit. That's all we need left. Let's go ahead and hit these markers up. We'll drive a little closer by the water. So you guys can see the lake shore. Who doesn't like to be by the water? Look at all these nodes out here, too. Look at all this iron sitting up here. If we get a hover vessel with a drill in it, we can just come up here and harvest this stuff all day long and just scrape the surface of this thing. It's really amazing, I think. Just how much iron is sitting around up here. It's beautiful. It's a nice body of water, but there are no trees around it. At least not at this point. Another iron deposit found. Nice. Just kind of circle out a bit. There's a weird. You see the circle around the bike? I guess that's the headlight. This is, I believe, different than. I think the seed is different. We still had a nice supply of food and stuff at the beginning, but I, it, it feels different to me for some reason. Oh, oxygen. Better. All better. Nice. What I've not read, maybe you guys have, is I thought I remember when they first got us on this, this new starter planet here that we were going to have all the plant life available to us by 8.3, which 8.3 never happened. It went from 8.2 to 8.5. So I'm kind of curious if, if that's the case. More copper. Holy cow. Oh, what's this? Level four. Okay, we reached level four. But a nice. Keep rolling this direction here. Keep our eyes open for stuff. Points of interest. P O I's. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, another iron deposit. Okay. I sure would like to see that Prometheum. Dark. Iron deposits.
There's something over there. I think I'm going the wrong way here. Well rested. Well rested he was. What's this over here? Those are troops. <laughs> That's ground patrol right there. Okay, so we know there's something right there. We got ourselves a drone over here. Yeah, this is very different than the last time we were on this POI, most definitely. Set back to my marker here to make sure we uh, we cover this area. I don't know how close I've got to get to that over there, but not. I can't get that close, not with a bike, and there being ground patrols out here as well. That's not wise to do that. We've got water over here. I'm, th I'm hoping this is a different body of water than the one we had. Because now we're going a little bit north. Uh, it is a different body of water. I think I saw some trees up here on the left-hand side, a little bit off in the distance. Let's go to our map. You guys tell me if I click on this... I don't know that's faster than the other way, but okay. Works for me. We can do that. That's the way to manage your markers. Uh, what do we got here? We got a drone coming up. If I shoot the drone down, I don't have any space in my inventory to put his stuff. But you guys aren't violent. Trees and water over here. I'm trying to avoid this drone, but it's not worth it. Always good to have your gun loaded. Jumping. <laughs> it's always good to have your gun loaded before you go into a gunfight. Uh, okay, wait, we can go shift F. There we go. I believe we got it all. Probably not. Yeah, we did. Okay, beautiful. Okay, got all of that. One drone down. Took a 50 damage. No big deal. We'll get that back when we eat. But we've got. Uh... Oh, can't pick up my bike. Uh, yes. Uh, we could drop you, and we can drop you for now, because there's plenty of that we can get. There we go. Pick up the bike. All right. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. All right. Let's get back on our bike. Uh, right there. There we go. And let's take a ride around here and see what we've got to see. What do we pick up on the map here? Uh, iron deposit. Okay. It's got some nice little valleys around it right here. We've got trees. Oh, we've got a nice beach right here, too. Oh, not only is this a nice looking place, but it's a pretty place. There's buds. Okay, now I'm seeing plants we haven't had before. There's that one right there. We've got the bud right there. I'm going to get off the bike for a little bit. Where are we at on the map? We're above the equator. That's nice. So that means uh, the days are going to be longer. I'm willing to bet there's food in this water as well. Oh, this is pretty cool. I, I really like this spot. It's beautiful here, isn't it? Look at the, the rolling hills and stuff over there. Some of you were concerned that we were going to keep building boxes to live in. <laughs> That's not the case. Really, the last four episodes have been us just kind of learning, uh, me learning how to efficiently start the game. And right now, I feel like I've got a pretty good start. I'm pretty happy right now. I've got O2. I've got a little bit of food. 
So now what we need is some stone and to, to build our, our little outpost right here. Oh, there's a slimy guy. Looks like we got a little bit of a marsh right over here too. Very nice. Crashed capital vessel. Oh, that's even better. Seen any mushrooms? Oh, this is a great spot, you guys, right here. This is a beautiful area. This is the Xenu mainframe. <laughs> okay, there it is. Uh, so that's going to tell me that over this way here, we're going to have a lot of the uh, uh, radiated biome. Which is nice to have nearby. Copper. We've not really found many deposits right in this general area, but they're not far away. Once we get a hover vessel, which isn't going to take too long to get to, uh, we'll be able to get that up and running. We'll be able to make all kinds of moves around. Wants us to go this way a little bit. Promethium deposit. Right up there underneath the drone. Okay, boom. I do want to look at the map again for just a, in just a second. Let's go up here real quick. Savannah Edge, okay. Let's get up here on up, up on some high ground so we can take a look. Yeah, that Xenu mainframe is right here. So that all over there looks to me like that's radiated biome. And we're going to find the radar station and the fortifications back in there. Okay. And then between here and there, across this land right here... We've got a good shot at some ground patrols and stuff like that. The Overseers, the Crawlers, the Xerax, and the Max. So I'm imagining they're going to be up there as well. Map, what do we have for ores near us? We've got iron, iron, copper, tons of copper. The nearest silicon is over here where we were just at. That's the nearest silicon. But I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet there's going to be some silicon right in this general area over in here. This looks like this might be radiated biome over here. And we do have water. little lagoon right here could be home sweet home baby could be home sweet home I like it I'm seeing what kind of resources we have nearby I'm looking for large rocks we've got these giant towering rocks right here those give you a good 250 almost 300 stone each when you take those down it takes a while with this drill but once you get it down you can build for a little while and you've got a pretty nice supply of that stuff going on it'd actually be kind of cool to build up on on the side of one of these things I think, um, I think we're good. We do have that one drone over here. Hey. Yoo-hoo. Did you take my other piece of silicon? There's trees. For biofuel to begin with here. And then we've got that, oh, the Prometheum deposit. How big is that? Very small. So it's going to be a node underground. So we really don't have a good Prometheum supply. There's going to be some in the radiated biome, but that is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to get to. You know, that's going to be tough because there's going to be a lot of, a lot of uh, resistance over there. But we could go back this direction here and see if there's anything back in there. 
So I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like this seed, although it's the same seed we lose la used last time, the um, the look of it has changed. I would say. And what's here and how it's laid out is different. I'm liking this down here. I really am. It's very, very kind of beautiful down here, actually. Nice and green. Plenty of resources. There's food nearby. Trees for growing. Or trees for biofuel, I should say. Let me take a break. I'm going to look around a little bit and see what I think, okay? Uh, knowing the enemy is right there is always very helpful, too. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Uh, give me one minute. Yeah, I'll be right back. we got the crash capital vessel over there, too, which is just resources waiting to be harvested. X marks the spot. What we're going to do is we're going to start our base right in the middle of this pool of water right here. Stretch it out a little bit this way and a little bit this way. And eventually the water generators are going to be right inside the base with the door over the top of them. So we can just walk up to them and the water generators will be inside. I'm working things out in my head. Next thing I want to do, I've got some things being made. Is I want to go over there and get that very small Prometheum deposit. I want to get that guy so we can make charges for our Tier 1 multi-tool. Uh, and then we can get to doing some building here, too. I've got this guy set up making O2 again and water bottles, so he's good to go. This guy right here, we've got a base block being made. I've got two water generators, which I'm going to get set up and, and going. And you know what? I, I want the core. I don't need that just yet. What I need after that is some more biofuel. Let's tell to make 20 of those. And then let's go back in here. And then the constructor, the capacitor, and then we need to learn a few things too. Let's go tab. It's been an hour. I've been playing for an hour now. Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with what I've, I've done so far. We're going to do the tier one fuel tank, O2 station, small Jenny, the cannon turret, the food processor. Solar panels, for sure. I can't unlock those yet. Okay, so we need to get some points. Where are we at on our point scale? We're going to level up soon, or where are we at? We're on level 4. 60%, huh? Almost to level 5. So I think if we were to go kill that drone over there and see what's over there, we'd probably be okay. I've got oxygen on me. I've got O2. I've got food. Let's eat one of those again. Let's go ahead and see about that Prometheum deposit, see if we can get to it. I think that would be a good thing to do. I like this spot because, well, it looks beautiful here. I like seeing the Xenu mainframe in the, in the distance. It always reminds me that they're close and all that good stuff. We've got the crash capital vessel over there too, which is just fantastic. Fantastic. Let's, uh, let's, uh, and we'll remove on waypoint. Oh, geez. Let's set that and accept it. There we go. And it's right over there. It's not far away at all. If I remember right, there was a drone over here. I was going to dig into the side of the mountain, put our base there, but I don't think it's such a good idea. To be so close to that, that ship. Jesus. He sees us. Oh, God, there's a spider too. I did not have to go into his inventory. We're going to get up on him. Reload. Can't hit him.
Charlie back out. Get off of him. I like going in his inventory and seeing what there is to see. Oh my god. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, so Promethium deposit. Ha! Take it, drone! <laughs> Promethium deposit. Here we go. Up this way. You bet I'm taking it. It's almost like free. We're up in the mountains. Temperature's 55. We're, we're, I think we'll be okay. I, I don't think we have to worry about getting cold. Although it does get cold up here. Okay, so here we are. That's the minigun drone. Okay, so... Ooh, that's so close. Um, do we see it? It's right there. Right there. I don't want to fall down the hole that I drilled. That's what I'm trying to avoid by backing off like this. I hope I'm above it. Okay, I'm going after this little, this very small Promethium deposit. I'm hoping to get 60, 70 out of it. We'll see. Last time we went after one of these, I think I got like 69 pieces out of it. So uh, it would be a nice start for our uh, drill, for sure, or our, our multi tool. So I'll be right back. She's very small, but isn't she beautiful? 67. Nice. Beautiful. Mission accomplished. And before the minigun even disappeared. Do we have anything else up here that we could take care of? Uh, let's go up there, because I'm sure that stuff is still being made down below there. Let's go see if this is silicon right up here. I seem to burn through silicon a lot. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a lover of glass things, you know what I mean, when I build? That's a, that's a rock. There's one more silicon up here. Let's go up there and get that one, and we'll go back down the hill and get the other one. Oh man, I love the fact that this map has so many of these on it. For starting out, it's fantastic. I remember when they first... Uh, ooh, look at this spider up here. <laughs> Take it, spider. Oh, wait, wait. Shift F. Getting into a habit here. Trying to get into a habit, guys. <laughs> it's new, right? It's, that's a whole new thing for us, to be able to do that. We've got an hour and fifty, we've got two hours before this goes down. The sun goes down. We can sleep another night away. There's another copper deposit up here. Oh man, this is just juicy. It's just juiciness over here. Look at that. That's just un unbelievable. Look at them all. Silicon and copper just laying up here like crazy. Uh, that, that's one thing that hasn't changed though, huh? Is that the mountains tend to be a little more fruitful. What we don't have here is the iron. That seems to be more in the desert, where these are both up here in the uh, up in the mountains. Unless we, unless there is an iron one laying around here somewhere, there could be iron down there. But I think that a lot of those are silicon down there. More silicon! Holy cow! Unbelievable! So much goodness! Get it, get it, get it. Don't, don't go, don't go away. Yeah, nice. A couple of spiders killed. You know what, I would like to, let's see, I'm going to see if this is iron over here. I don't think it is, I think it's silicon too. Oh my god, there's more silicon here. I want to get these uh, this meat back to cook it up so I can get the uh, full health benefits of that. Okay, like that. There we go. And am I good to do this? I am good to do this. Look at these nice hills, too. These rolling hills are beautiful. I love this. We 
we've got the different food items, we've got the buds here, we've got a little bit of flora and fauna going on, which is fantastic, we've got the mules roaming around, yeah, it's a good spot, good spot, I believe we're right over here, aren't we, yep, there's the tree, I ran into it, I'm gonna get around it, Sweet mama. What do we got in here? Two more O2s. Love that. That's fantastic. Got a little more iron going on here. I can throw this in here. I can cook up uh, a couple of steaks. There we go. That's probably going to not get done in time. Let's do that instead. And then we'll tell it to go ahead and make these things again. That. That. Uh, a generator. SVHB, that's our fuel tank. Uh, we need the armor locker. And did I, I, oh, I did not learn the larger solar panels, did I? Because I think I needed more points. Where are we at now? We're level five, so we should be able to learn that now. Solar panels, ventilator, armor locker. The necessities of life, people. The necessities of life. There we go with that. Uh, grow light would be a good thing to have as well. That should get us going pretty good on that. Now let's go to the hover vessel and see what we can learn here. Let's get uh, RCSs learned. Hover engines. And we need more points for that. We can get the cargo box learned. The, the harvest box. Okay, so in the next points we get we'll be spending on uh, the hover vessel. Oh my gosh, I feel like I got a great start here going on. A really great start. Did I, did, did, did it make my water generators? Yes, it did. Oh, fantastic. Look at this here. Okay, let's do this right here. And let's split this in half and split that into here. These guys are lighting up again, which is fantastic. I, I missed my lights on the last episode that we did. Lights weren't working. I said we got some water coming in to make some regular O2 bottles, which is fantastic. We got this going on right here. We got three bottles of water there. I can make some more of this emergency O2. There we go. Awesome. Just awesome. All right, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I'm going to record the next episode right away. Uh, do send your comments in. As you guys know, I comment back on, on just about everything. You know, I really do. So, yeah, send your comments in. If you enjoyed today's episode, I do encourage you to hit that like button for me and show your support for the series. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. Look at this. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.